on first thought, you think maybe Galata, but he just self imploded so badly, he lost badly in his title fights. To jest box jest sponsorowany przez Blue Mountain Resort w Szkalskiej Porębie i Bino Poland. Who are my choice? Gowatski is still, still there? Yes, yes. Um, he will follow Okolin. Who are the other? Oh, I mean, Wodarczyk is still around? Uh, Wodarczyk is still around. Uh, Michał Cieślak followed yeah, he just, with Makabu. Well, is that the one who just lost to... Uh, uh, yes, uh, in the Congo. In the Congo to... Yeah, uh, to Makabu. To Makabu, yeah. I mean, you know... And Maciej Słowenski, he fought uh, Andrade and Jacobs. Selesky, you know, looks pretty good. I saw, I was at his fight when he lost to Andrade. I have to say, though, there's a lot of good Polish fighters. All the guys you just mentioned, I don't know if any of them at the moment stand heads and heads and shoulders above other guys. Like they're all kind of quality contender types who are capable on the right night of winning a big fight, but no one that stands out uh, among the elite at the moment. You know, like say for example, like when Andrew Galata was at the top of the heavyweight division and one of the best contenders, or when Thomas Adamek was, you know, cruiserweight world champion and he was one of the best fighters in boxing. Um, you know, it's uh, Poland's always had a lot of exciting fighters, a lot of talented fighters. Uh, I think right now, a lot of their top contenders have lost in, in some big fights, and so, you know, I'm not sure if there's a good crop of guys behind them. Uh, hopefully there is. And they got, let me tell you, I'll tell the reason, because Poland, yeah. they got great fans. They're unbelievable. Yes. And uh, one more thing, uh, who's the best of all time from Poland? The best of all time from Poland? That's a good question. I mean, I, I, I guess you might have to say Adamek. I mean, you, he was here today. On first thought, you think maybe Galata, but he just self imploded so badly. He lost badly in his title fights. Got, you know, he fought for all four versions of the heavyweight title, got knocked out. Um, he was so talented and he just didn't have the head for it. I guess I'd have to say Adamek. I mean, he, I was there when he won the light heavyweight title uh, against Paul Briggs. Um, Amazing fight. You know, I was there when he lost to Chad Dawson, who, he gave, you know, who was at the top of his game at that time. He gave him a solid fight, and that, you know, was a tricky guy. Um, and then he, you know, fantastic fight at cruiserweight with Steve Cunningham, and became a cruiserweight champion. And uh, you know, when he fought for the heavyweight title against Vitaly Klitschko, it was almost an unfair fight because the size difference, differential was so enormous, and Klitschko also was skillful. Yes. So that was uh, that was a tough. If you're going to fight for the title at heavyweight, you know, he he fought probably the single worst style matchup for him that he could possibly have found. Um, but I guess I guess you know, without being like, I'm not, I can't say I'm a student of Polish boxing history, yes. but certainly. In my experience of covering boxing for 20 years or so, uh, I guess I'd have to go with Thomas Adamek. Terrific fighter. Wszystkich fanów boksu zapraszamy na stronę Facebook oraz na stronę naszego sponsora Bilopola.